Welcome to this Christmas present list, okay? Now, I really want to help you out there, whether you're a mountain biker or maybe secretly you're the husband or wife of a mountain biker and you're trying to find a present idea, I wanna help you. That's what this video is about, right? Okay, so let me just set one parameter at the start, okay, before we get into all the gifts. Now, the first thing you could do is go to a bike shop and start looking at some lovely bits of jewellery, like something like this, a lovely stem, and think, oh, he, she would love that. They would. A little, that's 40 pound there. So a lovely piece of jewellery, mountain bike jewellery. Or maybe like a little seat post clamp, something like that. That's nice and shiny, feels Christmassy. 12 quid, good idea. Uh, a pair of shoes, riding shoes, nice flat bottom on them. These Shimano GR9s, very nice. This is 90 pound. This is getting a bit serious. Or what about a helmet? A helmet. Now, you can spend from 50 to 250 pound on a helmet. Lovely bright color. How could it go wrong? The thing is with these objects that I've just pulled out, right? Sizing can mess it all up. Your good intention can be gone because you get the helmet right, but you get the size wrong. You get the wrong stem, it doesn't fit on the bike. You get the wrong seat post, it doesn't work. You get a shoe, it's not the right fit, even though you were sure they were a nine. And we're not doing that today. Okay, we're gonna find you presents that you can get with confidence and have fun with. Colorful, bright, Christmassy, and I've set myself a challenge, right? I'm gonna stay under 50 quid. We aren't gonna go beyond 50 quid here, and we're gonna have lots of options to send you out and get a really great either stocking filler or something that they're gonna wanna use for life for under 50 pound. Here we go. Okay, let's get started and let's keep it really cheap. The cost of living crisis is real, right? So let's look at five to 10 pounds. That's all we're gonna look at, right? And you can get a really good present for your mountain biker for five to 10 pounds, okay? What about an inner tube, okay? This is really cheap. Um, this one's five quid, but you can spend even less on an inner tube. All you've got to do is find out, do they use tubes in their mountain biking? But I think you can be really clever with a little bit of questioning to make sure they're not using tubeless because you'll have to look after that man or woman mountain biker in a different way and we'll get to it later, but it's a bit more money. But inner tubes, great little present for a stocking. You can wrap them up and it will look like they think they've got a new gold watch. <laughs> it's just an inner tube. Um, so inner tubes, they're a really good option. I quite like things like this mainly probably because of the colour. And me and Nick like the noise they make. Um, these funny little scrubber gloves, something to help them wash the bike. And there's loads of things like this that you can get, um, especially in the five to 10 pound that can be really, really cool as a present. So scrubber gloves, maybe a sponge or something like that. I quite like this stuff. I use a lot of foam fresh. So freshen up those shoes that you didn't buy them for Christmas, something like that five to 10 pounds and you're in there with a really great starter present, maybe in that stocking filler category. Right, serious money, 10 pounds. I'm telling you, right, I think this is maybe the most exciting space in our little journey today, right? Because you can get so much for a tenner, you won't believe it, right? Just under a tenner even, right? Something like this. If you found out that they do have tubeless tires, tubeless sealant. I mean, this is gonna make a big difference to their day. It's gonna fix a puncture, okay? That is literally on the money, 10 quid. Fantastic. But what about something for the office to remind them that they go out on the bikes on the weekends? Mountain biking branded mugs. Love it. Uh, this is the GMBN stunt mug, but other brands are available, but these are the ones I've got. We're at GMBN, give me a break, all right? Um, so something like that is a really great reminder and the stunt mug, indestructible. Uh, water bottles, these are perfect. Bang on a tenner as well, uh, out on the ride water bottles, ones with insulation, so to keep drinks nice and cold. All for 10 pounds, remember this stuff. So these are great presents and they're great sizes to go in those stockings. What about spending 10 pounds, right, on something they'll keep for the rest of their life. <laughs> what about saying like this? These torque keys and Allen keys, um, these are unbelievable. You probably will never need to buy another pack of them again. And they are sometimes under a tenner. 
So this is a really smart present. These ones are Park Tools ones. Um, I've got some uh, Toe Peak ones, which are really great. I'll show you later on. But these are a great starter and really show you know what you're talking about. Um, for the ride again, mud guards these days have got very simple. They basically just clip on with some zip ties and they're basically a piece of material and then they fold under the fork and you've got a mud guard. Um, again, these are GMB and branded ones. You can get all sorts of different ones, um, but this is £10 for something like that. It's a mud guard for the bike. You're making their bike better. Incredible. What about a cage for the bottle that you've bought? That's a tenner. Now, there's a reason I've got a really muddy one here. I'm going to get to that in a moment. Um, there's a specific reason I've chose this one. So we'll get to it a bit later in the list. So don't miss that amazing news. But just for a standard bottle cage, £10. So we've got so much stuff. We've only spent a tenner so far, but you've got lots of options. But the list goes on. Okay, we're moving on. 15 to 20 pounds. It only gets better from here on in, right? 15 pounds, what about a big old bottle of bike cleaner, okay? That's a clean bike for months? Two months? Depends how much you watch it, really. But really great present, and it will last a long time. Um, getting into sort of like a really cool bike detail, what about something like tubeless valves? Remember earlier on, you already decided whether they use tubes or not. But I quite like these. They do feel quite Christmassy, don't they? But basically, that's a really nice addition to the bike itself. Um, 20 pounds. Uh, what about a high-end sea-free ceramic lube wet version? That sounds kind of sexy. It isn't, but it's a really cool product. And someone who knows their bike is going to be very, very pleased with this. So check out lubes, things like that. That's a really good idea. And again, £20. Um, classic. Get yourself a branded t-shirt. Again, other brands are available, but mountain bike brands have got great products in the casual lines and 20 quid's gonna get you a really cool long sleeve or t-shirt um, that's gonna have your man or mountain biking woman looking splendid when they're not on the bike, just feeling mountain bikey, you know, so another great present. Um, 20 quid spent uh, is a good one. And we sort of dip back below 20 for this, grips, grips for your bike. Now, this is something that can really add some color to that bike in your mountain biker's life, uh, you can go beyond 20 with these, okay? So let's say it's starting at 15 and it goes beyond up towards 30. So it's gonna take us into our next category, but a really great prize. But just before we leave the 15 to 20, here's one I really like, okay? And you can go on like Etsy, anywhere like this, to get these sort of things. Mountain bike signs. These are the sort of things that will hang in a workshop and your mountain biker in your life will look at these things while they're working on their bike and just feel great. And you can get all sorts of ones. This one has got a story. I went to uh, Whistler this year and Doddy begged me to get him a Karate Monkey trailhead sign, which is this. Look, he hasn't even unwrapped it. I wrote his name on it, doesn't care. But you can get all sorts of ones. Doddy's got loads of them, bikes rule. Uh, what else have we got? These are all off Etsy, these ones. Campagnolo, uh, all sorts. Look at these. Rally, that's an old school one. Chopper one. Great little idea. Uh, fun and will look great in the workshop. So, 20 quid-ish, even below sometimes. Right, let's keep the prizes coming. Let's move up, let's spend a bit more cash and move into the 30 pound range. Oh, it's getting excited. 30 pounds. Let's see what we can get for that, okay? Some brilliant prizes. Um, let's start with CO2 inflator kit, okay? This has got a canister in it and an attachment that goes on the canister. So when your rider's out on the trail, they can just blow the tire up in one hit. Fantastic. Now, you can get just the canisters, okay? Makes a good noise. Uh, that's a lot cheaper, under a five pounds actually. So that goes right back to our first category. But obviously the important bit is this attachment here. You need this to screw on top of the canister. So make sure you think about that before you buy just canisters. But 30 pound for something like that, really, really great and so useful when you're out on the trail. Next one, I like this a lot. Grime bag, okay? 30 pounds, basically this bag, 
here it is, nicely branded. Um, other brands are available, okay? I've only got what I've got in the office, all right? Um, they basically lay on the floor. You stand in them and you take all your muddy kit off um, and it just stays in the bag. You step out of the bag and then you just pull the old drawstring here, whoop, and it bags it all up and keeps it all nice and dry. Well, keeps everywhere it's not dry. Um, and everything wet stays inside the grime bag. Lovely idea, like that a lot. Now, earlier on, we looked at these uh, little Allen keys, okay? Tool for life, okay? I'm reaching into my wheelchair because 30 pounds will get you something like this ratchet set. This is from Toe Peak and it's, I, I literally take it everywhere I go. I can't leave the home without it because it does so many little jobs. Um, it's really great. Sounds amazing. Um, it's a brilliant product and a brilliant prize in your, this would go in a stocking, but that's quite the present for stocking. Rounding out the 30 pound mark, what about something like this, Tail Lux Light? That is a very cool little product. And it's, woo, didn't expect it to come on. That's kind of Christmassy as well, wasn't it? Uh, a bit flashy, but this thing's saving lives, all right? Don't know how to turn it off now. Wow, it does loads of shit, look, this. This, that, I like that one. Tail looks light, very, very cool. 30 pounds. So I tell you what, something else we've got in the 40 pound hit, okay, that I cannot forget. And this is my one solid GMBN plug, no other brands available. It's the GMBN Christmas hoodie. How cool, it's my favorite hoodie of the year. Look at that on the back. Super nice Christmas, love it. Don't forget that one in the 40 pound bracket. What a great little bit that was. We've got some good prizes in there, but we're gonna have to up the ante now. We're gonna start buying some real, real cool presents. Okay, 35 to 40 pounds. <laughs> got some good stuff going here. Right, let's start with something I've got absolutely tons of. I wish I could throw them to you in the camera because I'm very, very rich in race tops. But 35 pounds can start getting you a proper technical race top. Other brands are available, yes. But really great prize. And you obviously come in all sorts of colors. Um, these are some of my favorites. In fact, these are mine. Um, this happens to actually be my favorite color one. Nice, 35 pounds. Right, moving up to 40 pound, okay? What about some frame protection for the bike? Oh yes. Now I really like the idea of this, 40 quid, and basically the recipient gets to put all these stickers on their bikes and really look after it. It's actually like a really, uh, don't, not getting sexy, it's a sensual experience. They're really gonna enjoy doing it, okay? But not in a weird way, frame protection. It doesn't look like much, I gotta be honest. It kind of just looks like clear nothing, but that's kind of the whole point. Another 40 pound one, I saw this in Doddy, Doddy's tech place and I thought, oh my God, that's nice. Look at this, it's an organizer. This is from Hiplock, uh, 40 pounds, but it's really cool. This would be great for the workshop or in the van but basically it hangs um, and it comes with the screws or the hooks to do that, but it hangs and then you can put a helmet in there and the tools in there. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? For 40 quid, I really like that and I might not give it back to Doddy. Maybe I'll exchange it for that sign. He never used. Sometimes you just wanna think about mountain biking. So what about something like a book? Uh, the other day I was sent this book, the Off-Road Heroes book uh, from Rafa, 40 pound and it's just full. I mean, it's absolutely full of stories and features and photos of all of the most famous mountain bikers in the world. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I think that something like this is where your mountain biker in your life can really, really luxuriate in the sport. I mean, it's got some great people in it. Tinker Juarez, Danny McCaskill. Um, it's got some shit people in here as well. There's this fucking idiot. <laughs> but most of it, other than that double page spread. Sticking in the 40 pound category, but slightly moving ourselves out of the 40 pound category. What about a tire? Ooh, now, 
you'll be thinking how much difference that's going to make out on the trail because new tyres almost makes your bike feel brand new, which is really nice. Um, what you've got to make sure you do is get the right size, but that just means sneaking out to the garage and reading what size tyre they've got on their bike at the moment. And they'll be like, oh my God, it's part of the present. Like, how did you know I ride a 29 with a 2.35 rear tyre? Oh my God, you're so cool. And you're like, cool. And all you spent was 40 quid. But you can go beyond 40 quid with tyres, okay? So they start there and go off. And they have led us, lovely, straight out of the 40 pound range. Ah, oh, I've enjoyed this. It's a final category, okay? We're at 45 to 50 pound. I said I wouldn't go over that, but I think we've had a lovely selection of prizes um, that anyone would be very, very happy to get as a present for Christmas, okay? So 45 pounds. Now, I said I'd bring up this muddy old bottle cage, okay? Now, the reason I brought that up is this is very cheap on its own, but you can buy it in combination with this Ninja Tool Pack, okay? So the bottle rack goes on the bike, but the Ninja Tool Rack, which in here, it's got this lovely little case, you've got a full multi-tool in there with all sorts of gadgets. Oh, that is so neat. It sits in there, doesn't rattle at all, it's totally safe. And then when you're out on the bike, it basically locks in underneath the bottle. And then once the bottle's in there, it can't move. A whole tool set just on your bike like that. But that's 45 pounds, so it's quite big money. It's quite big money, but it's gonna be on every bike they ever ride from there on. Really, really nice. So that is the Ninja Toe Peak bottle cage. It's very cool. Uh, and like I say, it's muddy because it's been on my bike and I've used it tons. So I can definitely say that one really works. Um, right, up to 50 pound. Now you can really start thinking outside the box when you get to 50 pound, but I'm gonna suggest something simple, okay? I saw this in the office today, right? This is a Camelback hydration pack. This is the mule, okay? This is very expensive, 100 pounds, right? But it's very, very good. But you can buy like the Lobo hydration pack from Camelback, um, which unfortunately I don't have one, but the Lobo is 50 pounds. Bang on the money, but like, high quality product, which again is gonna change their riding day. They're gonna be taking hydration and all those tools and the little gifts you've bought them with them on their rides. So it kind of takes you with them on their rides. Isn't that a lovely end? There you go, there's my Christmas list. Um, I tell you what, if you've watched this and you think, oh my God, he's missed out this and that. Well, the comment section is a perfect place for you to add your information and your suggestions down below this video and then someone who's watching this desperately trying to find that perfect gift for the mountain biker in their life, they can look at the comments and get even more from you. So thank you for watching. I really hope this has helped. It's found you the perfect present. You have a lovely Christmas and get some lovely Christmas presents. Um, and until 2023, did that happen? Kind of, I'll say goodbye.